patient has a very difficult problem. He has pinhole meatal stenosis in association with lichen sclerosis. He has a very ventrally situated meatus. A ventral meatotomy would create a totally hyperspadiac meatus. If you do a dorsal meatotomy, then the thickness of the spongiosus would make it difficult to approximate the glands and the urethral epithelia without puckering the penis. To start the operation, two 4O proline stay sutures are placed either side of the stenose meatus. Here you can clearly see the pinhole meatal stenosis and the white skin of lichen sclerosis. Please note that the ventral skin is much worse affected than the dorsal skin. The first part of the operation is to do a small ventral meatotomy. This has the effect of making the meatus slightly wider, but it also allows you to check that the, that the navicular fossa is not involved. If it is, you cannot do this operation. Here you can see that the stenosis only goes a millimetre or two into the urethra, making it an ideal candidate for this operation. Where the meatotomy is done, the urethelial and gland skin are opposed with three interrupted 6O or 7O in children polyglycan sutures. The next step of the operation is to do a deeper dorsal in incision uh, through the spongiosis. This should widely open the urethra to allow a, a full flow and a wide opening to pass urine through. Again, the glands and urethral epithelium are opposed with interrupted polyglycan sutures. In this case, we usually use five sutures to get good opposition uh, of the urethra and glands. Although this creates a wide open urethral meatus, it forms an unshapely uh, glands and a kippered end to the penis. Um, we intend to overcome this by using an inverted V-shaped relieving incision, um, which will then free up the glands to reform its normal shape. Here we can see the incision being made. So the tip of the V is just proximal to the tip of the dorsal meatotomy. The exact shape of it can be adjusted with pointed scissors and the ends mobilized to enable the suturing. This creates a left and right inner and outer skin flaps. The left and right inner layers are opposed with a continuous polyglycan suture starting at the apex of the inverted V working towards what will be the dorsal end of the neomeatus. This is the final bit of the operation where we just oppose the um, gland skin to uh, close the glands. We use a fire, the same fine polyglycan suture and sometimes a mattress suture uh, works well. Here you can see a normally shaped glans penis now and the meatus is wide open with a really good slip meatus at the tip of the penis. And the operation is over.